Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Mercedes to Take a Chainsaw, to Hamilton's car after. Tough Bahrain GP Weekend. Summary of headline article. Lewis Hamilton and George Russell struggled in the season opening Bahrain Grand Prix as Mercedes. Appeared to be a level below Ferrari and Red Bull. Toto Wolff revealed Mercedes will take a chainsaw to Lewis Hamilton and George Russell's car. Ahead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix this weekend. The Austrian admitted he is set to instruct his engineers to cut the rear wing to bits ahead of. The next race. His comments after the Silver Arrows were notably the third fastest team behind Ferrari and Red Bull in the season opening Bahrain Grand Prix. Hamilton qualified fifth while his teammate Russell started ninth but they finished third and fourth respectively after both Red Bull cars were forced to retire. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Lineker embarrasses Neville on Twitter as Man United rant. Backfires spectacularly. Summary of headline article. Neville took to social media on Monday morning in fury after taking offense to the way Red Devils. Stars have conducted themselves following a 1-0. 2-1 on aggregate. Humbling at the hands of Atletico Madrid. The former Manchester United captain tweeted, I remember a time when United players, managers, executives wouldn't be seen in their local Italian after a draw at home let alone getting knocked out of Europe. True. They were mostly busy getting hammered down the pub without everyone being on social media to spy on him, he tweeted. This prompted yet another response from Neville. Who hit out at Manchester United owner Avram Glazer for attending the Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix? Of course. It's not a problem watching other sports, tweeted Neville. From BBC under the main headline of Thomas Rival, Hurt, by Transgender Rules. Summary of headline article. LIA Thomas also competed in the 200-yard and 100-yard freestyle at the NCAA Championships Hungaries. Reka Georgi has accused the National Collegiate Athletic Association of denying her a spot in the final of its swimming championships by allowing transgender LIA Thomas to compete. Thomas won the women's 500-yard freestyle title becoming the first known transgender athlete to do so. Georgi acknowledged that Thomas is doing what she is passionate about and deserves that right, but said she would like to critique the NCAA rules that allow her to compete against us. Thomas tied for fifth in Friday's 200-yard freestyle final and finished eighth in the 100-yard freestyle final more than two seconds behind the winner, on Saturday. Wrapping up her collegiate career. Like anyone else in this sport. LIA doesn't win every time. From Mail Online under the main headline of Mike Dean, will quit on field refereeing at end of the season. Summary of headline article. Mike Dean is reportedly in his final season as a Premier League referee and will move into a Full-time role as a video assistant referee. VAR. According to The Telegraph, Dean is in negotiations to hang up his boots and move into the video room ahead of the 2022-23 season. Dean has become one of the most recognizable officials in English football and holds the title for the most red cards awarded 114 in Premier League history. The Telegraph report details how Dean is in negotiations to take up a full-time role as a VAR official. Currently only Lee Mason, who himself stepped down from on-field officiating in the Premier League last season, has a full-time VAR role. From the Sun under the main headline of Jake Paul warns he will retire McGregor and train MMA for 
6 months for fight. Summary of headline article. Jake Paul is ready to train in MMA for 6 months to fight Conor McGregor and warned he could send the UFC icon into retirement. The YouTuber turned prize fighting star spent almost all of his boxing career trying to prize and goad McGregor into the ring. 5. Jake Paul is ready to train in MMA for six months to fight Conor McGregor credit. Getty Images. Getty 5. Conor McGregor has been called out to a UFC fight by Jake Paul credit. Getty but Paul has now offered to enter the Irishman's world and settle the score in the UFC octagon. And if you took a poll on us in a MMA fight, fans will say Connor is winning that. I'm ready. 5. Jake Paul vowed to donate his purse to UFC stars if he loses to Connor McGregor credit. Instagram at Jake Paul. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Boris Becker arrives at court as he faces trial over bankruptcy charges. Summary of headline article. Boris Becker will face trial on Monday accused of concealing assets, including his Wimbledon trophies. After being declared bankrupt, Boris Becker has arrived at court as he faces trial over bankruptcy charges. After being declared bankrupt in 2017. As a result Becker has been accused of failing to hand over assets in order to settle his debts. Including a number of his most prestigious titles. Ahead of the trial. Becker denied seven charges of concealing property. Two counts of removing property required by the receiver. While appearing at Southwark Crown Court. Becker will be accompanied by a German translator who will assist him during the trial. From Metro under the main headline of Eric Ten Hag makes decision on leaving Ajax amid Manchester. United speculation. Summary of headline article. Eric Ten Hag is ready to leave Ajax. Photo by Henk Jan Dykes, BSR Agency, Getty Images. Eric Ten Hag is ready to leave Ajax at the end of the season. Regardless of whether Manchester United decide to hire him or not. The Dutchman is a leading candidate to become United's next manager and he's battling with Mauricio Pochettino to replace Ralph Rangnick. United are said to be leaning towards Ten Hag after he impressed in interview but they've offered. No guarantee over which direction they'll go in. But the Dutchman appears to have made up his mind about leaving Amsterdam regardless of United's decision. Meaning he could be on the open market by next season. Manchester City view Ten Hag as a potential successor for Pep Guardiola. Though the Spaniard shows no signing of stepping down at the Etihad. From BBC under the main headline of Mitchell and Walker Peters earn call-ups. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section England Mitchell has enjoyed a good season for Crystal. Palace Crystal Palace fullback Tyrick Mitchell and Southampton defender Kyle Walker Peters have. Been given their first England senior call-ups. England host Switzerland on Saturday before taking on Ivory Coast on Tuesday with both friendly games at Wembley. It will be the first involvement with England at any level for London-born Mitchell. 22. Who played for AFC Wembley as a youngster before joining Brentford's youth setup. He has made 57 appearances for Palace. Scoring one goal. Walker Peters. 24. A 2017 Under-20 World Cup winner. Has earned caps from under-18 through to under-21 level and has made 28 appearances for Saints this season. Scoring three goals. From BBC under the main headline of Centricus Fund's new bid to buy Chelsea. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section Chelsea Thomas Tuchel celebrates Chelsea's victory against Lille.
OSC global investment firm Centricus is funding another British bid to buy Chelsea, saying it wants to maintain and support existing management. This latest bid, backed by Centricus, which has £29 billion in assets, features several Chelsea season ticket holders. The intention is to maintain and support existing management on both the business and sporting operations of the CFC Group. Clearly, the CFC Group has been operating in challenging conditions and we appreciate the importance for the CFC Group. The fans and other key stakeholders of ensuring a smooth and stable ownership transition. The True Blues Consortium is being advised by Oakvale Capital and has support from Chelsea. Supporters Trust. Chelsea pitch owners and former Chelsea and England fullback Claire Rafferty. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Fritz ends incredible Nadal 2022 streak with inspired. Indian Wells victory. Summary of headline article. Nadal went into the clash having prevailed in all of his 20 matches played this year. A streak which incorporated his remarkable Australian Open win. Fritz. 24. Kept his focus to take the first set 6-3. And then at 5-5 in the second. Came the defining moment. Having reached the final four at Indian Wells. He then turned in an impressive display to beat number no. 7 seed Andre Rublev in straight sets. After his landmark victory though, Fritz insisted that the issue had nor adversely affected him once he stepped on court. However, having won the Melbourne Summer Set, Australian Open, and Mexican Open this year, the defeat hardly represents a crisis for the 21-time slam winner. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.